okay so please uh, so please uh, make yourself mute and i'm starting okay. yeah yeah okay so hopefully we were okay so just one just a, a very fast recap reporting about development so in the slides may our sole purpose is to create a report so we will see how we will create a report today sc 38 is the main transaction we can use sa 38 also sc 80 is object navigator from sc 80 we can navigate to anywhere programming environment this is the sc 80 editor this is what uh, debugging debugging is a tool or uh, uh, provided by sap through which we can troubleshoot any kind of error or troubleshoot any kind of uh, uh, means a faulty code or whatever is uh, happening inside our code we can check each and every line of a code through this debugging tool so how this debugging tool is working we will cover in the next coming classes next is uh, this uh, all the buttons it's very pretty simple you can check uh, that I told you that we, uh, you can check the syntax syntax check you, you can check extended program check you can check uh, check code inspector so these three are the main 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 three checks we need to perform after doing every uh, any kind of report development so, so suppose i have developed a report so now initially you can check it syntax syntactically any error is there or not so if no, any syntax error is not there then find no issues after that we will check for epc extended program check and then code inspector ci error this two error will tell you whatever sap has uh, provided some standards for uh, to uh, to write uh, some particular code like you need to uh, you know, follow some naming, naming standards suppose you are, you are going to uh, declare a uh, constant so the, the na name of that constant variable should be like something like c underscore where or something like that so if you declare something like v underscore care as a constant so you will find a EPC error or a code inspector error saying that uh, you are not following any kind of naming convention or uh, so this kind of uh, certain uh, performance related issues or SAP has provided certain standards to develop a report internally SAP will check whether your code has followed all those things or not if it is not followed then it will all those errors will be reflected in external uh, program check or code inspector in these two particular tools so I'll, uh, I'll uh, show you um, I think I have shown you already uh, no problem I'll show, show you in the screen next is there are a lot of options are there you can just check what are those options text 11 list settings that portions also I have uh, shown you uh, we'll go through those those things uh, once again this list heading selection stack te uh, text symbols these things are uh, very important and they are frequently used while we are developing a report these things are more utilities nothing much important you can check for this one like upload or download suppose uh, you have uh, created a report now you want to save that report as a local copy so you just save the report in your system block buffer these things are not that much important settings as usual you can just check what are the settings are available now let's come to our core programming concept basic era program syntax okay so the uh, means uh, throughout uh, for, for, uh, means like uh, Today means whatever we are going to discuss, we will assume that we are trying to develop a report. Our sole aim is to trying to develop a report. So now to develop a report, what kind of syntax or what kind of basic things we need to require? Like first of all you can see data count type i, data title like this, data move, write, this, these are syntaxes or uh, uh, keywords. The, means these things are very much means, uh, common with other languages like you will find find some similarity with C also no problem this is very much understandable nothing much to explore like data through this data keyword you can declare any variable like count type i means this count is a variable which is type of integer you can understand easily like this things like title 25 so if it uh, means provide no more information it will consider it as a character of means title is nothing but a character if you declare anything like type data title dot it will correct consider it as a character and what is this 25 it will tell the how much length of this character now what is this next one move is doing move one to count it is assigning count one to count like this write title it will write the data 
into the final output list. Changing statements in a BAP. So means uh, some much more explanation in this next slide. Similar things. So this is a normal look of a report. So I'll just uh, show you in the uh, slide. Uh, sorry, in, in the system. Just let me uh, first go through the slides. So this is how is a normal report looks like. Yeah, internal thing. Just uh, forget about this left side part. This is nothing but object navigator. You can just cross it. There's a cross button is there. It's not showing it. You can just cross it. It will hide. So whenever you are going to create any report, by default, the first line will be report, the report name. This should be there. Otherwise, at the runtime, SAP will not understand that whatever program it is going through, what it is. It is a report. It is include. It is a um, selection screen or whatever it is. It, it will not at all understand. So you have to mention first like report, report name, full stop. So this is by default you will get this one. After that you can start your coding like some uh, variables has been declared like data, some type P, counter type P, so like this. Simple things. Program name area, use report for listing programs, use program for online programs. So if it is an online program or a modulable program, you will find that instead of report it will be like program. So that at the runtime, SAP will understand. If SAP will uh, find that the first line is a program, it will understand this is a module group program like this. Declaration, use for defining tables, variables, constants, statements. Uh, this is normal things. You just will be just uh, simply understand what is this. Now let's move to our system. I need to show you in system now. Okay. So let's create a report first. So our transaction is simple SC38. So this is the transaction where you can create any kind of report. So let's create a report. Let's suppose that test. So Vani. Okay, create, press create button. So you will face the this kind of a screen. Here you need to provide some details. What details? Like title as usual you need to provide for any object. You need to provide some description. So this is the what date, the description. Created by whom, what date, not that much required. Now attributes portion is one very important thing. What kind of a program it is? Is it executable program, include program, module pool, function group, subroutine pool, interface, class pool. So generally suppose this is a report and you want to execute the report to show some final display. So that should be executable program. Ignore this one. This is a system message. Means this is maybe a local install. That's why it's coming something like that. Just remove, remove this. So Next one is status, SAP standard pro production program. So generally we use this one because whatever we are going to create here, ultimately it will go to a production production program only. Otherwise you can put a test program, whatever it's not. Okay, so generally we, we used to program means for any kind of project means whenever you will be in a project you, you have to put like SAP standard production program or custom production program, you can put system program you can put test program you can put whatever it is you can put you, you have this kind of these many options you can provide. Next one is application. Santa no I mean yeah. what it um, for what we use that status what we can understand from the status of that giving from that status app standard yeah, see, production yes, sir. this will not at all hamper your code or anything it will just tell tell the end user or tell tell a developer or tell any anybody that this is a program or this is uh, a kind of this kind of a program like this may be a sap standard production program maybe like a standard production program maybe it is using some in general way means uh, 
uh, suppose there are some certain standard procedures in my business 